Today, I want to test a new microphone, the Sudotech SD900. It's not to run with, but for these type of videos where I film at home, it could come in handy. Uh, I'll compare it to uh, the Zoom H1n, Smart Mic Plus, Audio Wow, and the Rode Video Micro. Seeing that I get a lot of comments and questions about how I make my videos, I figured this could be a good insight and perhaps helpful if you want to do the same. Full disclosure, I was given this microphone by the company that makes them and I was asked to test it, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to give it an honest test and review. Uh, they have no say in what I'll talk about in this video and they won't see it until I post it. So uh, that being said, let's have a look at the microphone. I wasn't sure what to expect before I received the microphone and I must say for $63, uh, I didn't expect too much from it, but it came in a very nice box and it was well packed. Uh, it comes with a kit that has everything that you need to use it as a broadcasting microphone. Uh, a flexible arm with a clamp to connect it to a table or a desk, a shock mount to keep the microphone from picking up bumps and knocks, and a pop filter and windshield to keep out environmental noise and pop sounds. It's a very easy setup and with the USB cable that plugs into the bottom of the microphone, you connect it to your computer to record directly to your computer. The microphone itself is nice and small. It has a mute button on it and a small light that lights up green when it's on and red when it's muted. Uh, there's also a small headphone jack uh, so that you can connect your headphones and monitor the sound with zero latency. The microphone is great for doing podcasts or making videos where you talk close into the microphone, but that is not always how I make my videos. Uh, so I wanted to see how it would perform if I used it the way I normally would, with the microphone off screen. Uh, if you've seen my recent videos, you've actually already heard the results. Uh, the voiceover on the documentary video and uh, uh, carbs video and protein video, they were recorded with this microphone. So let's see how it compares to other microphones that I might use. The Rode Video Micro, that is my regular external microphone on my Sony camera. Uh, the Smart Mic Plus that I bring with me on my runs and has amazing sound quality. Uh, the Audio Wow, which is a new microphone from the same company that makes Smart Mic Plus. Uh, I actually haven't used it yet, so I, I don't know how that performs. A full review on that will follow still, uh, but I'll bring it into the test anyways. Uh, the Zoom H1n, I normally use it with a lav mic, but I will use it with the built-in microphone for the test today. Uh, so that is four different microphones and of course the SD900. First, let's do a test like I normally would use it in front of the camera. Uh, now, what I've noticed in the sound of the SD900 is that it's a little bit lower. The distance from the microphone uh, seems to matter more than with the Rode mic. Uh, I can step away from the camera quite a bit and it will still pick up the sound pretty well. Uh, the Smart Mic Plus doesn't have this problem seeing that it is pinned to me, so that sound will be clear even if I'm across the room. A uh, Zoom H1n is a great recorder, and although I normally use it with a lav mic, uh, the recorder itself has great sound. Uh, so I've set it up right next to the SD900, which is just off screen right here. Uh, the Audio Wow, I actually don't know how that performs yet. Uh, but it's also clipped on my body, so it should pick up the sound well enough. Uh, the thing with this is that uh, you don't always want to have the microphone visible. Uh, the SD900 is a microphone that you can keep off screen, but even on screen, it still gives kind of a professional feel to it. So you might actually choose to keep it in view. Let's switch up the setup and listen to what it sounds like when the sound is coming in close to the microphone. Now, it's easier to record louder recordings this way, but as far as the quality goes, I'm not expecting there to be too much difference. Um, I did notice in previous recordings uh, that the Rode microphone, it captures a lot of sound, but it also has kind of a hollow sound to it. Uh, seeing that the room that I film in now is fairly empty and the sound kind of echoes off the wall. Uh, the SD900, however, it captures clearer sound and it doesn't have the sound of the echo on it as much. Uh, the Zoom H1n uh, has a windshield and the Rode microphone has a dead cat. But I think that the pop shield that the ST900 has kind of makes a difference here. So what do I think of the ST900? Uh, the microphone for me is a nice extra addition to the microphones that I already have. They all kind of serve a different purpose and the ST900 records great sound for when I need to do a voiceover. Uh, it turns out it also records great sound for when I'm doing a video like this. So I can see myself getting some good use out of this microphone. Uh, for $73, uh, I must say, I didn't expect it to perform as well as it did. Uh, it comes packaged really nice. It's a complete set that is easy to set up and the sound quality is really good. So uh, what's not to like? Sudotech, thank you very much for the microphone. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of great use out of this. 
If you want to check out the microphone for yourself uh, and the other microphones, I'll leave links in the description. If you want to see the uh, review that I did for SmartMic Plus, check it out right here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, get out there and run.